It's Luke. Hi everyone. Hi. Ah, you must be William. Yeah. Now your question was, does my granny really need glasses? Yeah. So granny? Do you need glasses? Well, I don't need them all the time. Um, actually, I've just lost them. Ah, well, we shall see if you do need them in our experiment. <laughs> OK, this experiment will show us should Granny be wearing glasses. And all of you can help us. And what I'd like you to do is to go to the other end of the garden, as far away from me as possible. Can you do that? Yeah. Brilliant. Laurie, can you maybe go first? Lead the way. Brilliant. And I'll just get things set up here. Oh, Granny, you too. How are you today, Luke? Oh, it's my big moment. Standing by, ready to send lots of messages. Oh, oh sorry. Are you okay, Granny? Uh -huh. Right, is everyone ready? So, William, you're going to go first, and what I'd like you to do is to walk slowly towards me. And when you can see the picture clearly, I'd like you to stand still and shout out what it is, OK? But all the pictures are different, so no helping each other. We don't want any cheaters, OK? Right, I'm going to turn the pictures around. And... William, off you go. It's an airplane. Fantastic! That's no problem for you. So why don't you step to the side and it's Laurie's turn. Brilliant. I'll just change the picture, Laurie. Off you go. As soon as you can tell what it is, stop. What do you think it is? A boat. Uh, brilliant, fantastic. Again, you've got really good eyesight. So if you want to just stand to the side, it's time for Mum. <laughs> Are you ready, Mum? I'll just change the picture. And off you go. It's a lorry. Brilliant, Mum. No trouble at all. You just step to the side. That's fantastic. Lovely. Brian, your turn. And whenever you're ready, off you go. It's a helicopter. Excellent work. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Have you just step in? Mum and Brian had to go much closer to the picture than William and Laurie. I can't wait to find out how Granny gets on without her glasses. Granny's turn. You ready, Granny? Let me just change this for you. And... Off you go! I think that's a dog. Uh, nearly. Try again. Mm, no, it's a cat, I think. Try again. Um, no, it's a pony. What is it? It's a bicycle, Nina. Oh! <laughs> Well done, Gran. It's a bicycle. Well done. Poor Granny had to get really close to see the picture of the bicycle. It is because she is not wearing her glasses. Granny needs her glasses to help her eyes see things more clearly. Everybody's eyes are so different. Now, William, you and Laurie, you're both quite far away. You managed to see that from all the way over there, so you have really good eyesight. And Mum and Brian... That wasn't too bad at all. You just came to the bottom of the steps and then you shouted nice and clear exactly what was on the picture there. Granny, you had to come a little bit further. Maybe that means you do need your glasses after all. All right, William, up you come. OK, your question was, does Granny need to wear glasses? And that experiment taught us that all our eyes are different. For example, you could identify the picture from really far away. But yet Granny, she had to come really close before she could see what it was. And we still have one more problem to solve. Where are Granny's glasses? I don't know. <sighs> Neither do I. <laughs> 
Abby, you must be tired out. I am a wee bit. Oh, why don't you just take a seat? Do you remember where you last had your glasses? Well, to be honest, I had them this morning, but I think I mislaid them. Hmm, maybe out in the garden. I was out here reading my book earlier. Okay. Well, don't you worry about it at all, because we are going to help you find them. In fact, we could have a granny's glasses hunt. <laughs> will you help me, William? Yes. Excellent. Right, let's get looking. Granny, we couldn't find them anywhere. Oh, oh they're here all the time. Oh, you've been sitting oh, on them. Be... <laughs> she was sitting on them all the time. <laughs> no wonder they couldn't find them. <laughs> oh, what a relief. Oh, just one more thing. I found this lovely red ribbon. And if we attach it to the end of your glasses you can wear it round your neck and then you will never ever lose your glasses again <laughs> there you go <laughs> oh things look much clearer now thank you nina that's okay <laughs> nina, <laughs> Brilliant. So we've learned today that our eyes all work differently from each other. Some people can see better than others, just like your granny. She needs her glasses so she can see more clearly. So I'm glad I could help you answer your question. And it was easy when we used our senses, wasn't it? Yeah. But it's time for me to go. But thank you very much. Bye, William. Bye, Nina. <laughs> work the hardest to do, especially searching for Granny's glasses. There were loads of sounds to keep me busy. I was listening to everyone shouting out their answers during the experiment. It's an aid win. A boat. Well, I was working hard too, you know, touching the plants and flowers as we searched for the glasses. They felt so good. Well, we've had a bit of an easy day, haven't we, bud? Yeah, not much smelling and tasting today, sis, but I've still had a fabby time. Well, that was great fun. I hope you've had a sensational time too.